Another popular use case is of retrieval augmented generation or RAG. In here, we are going to provide a file and this is a PDF. And then we go through the steps of embedding the document and then asking questions. So in this flow, we're going to take the document, split the text and use Gohere embeddings. And we have options to select from in terms of the model. So there is the English model. There are some multilingual models. Since this document is in English, I'm going to select the English option and then run the flow. Once I run the flow, I can see that there are a number of embeddings. Those were generated and also saved. Now we can use the embedding. So in this case, I use Chroma DB, which is a local vector database. I am going to connect that with the embeddings again and a question from the users. In this case, I'm asking summarize the document for me, please. Essentially, our question goes to Chroma DB component and we search using the query. We get a few different responses and we can look at the number of responses we want back. So in this case, it is by default at 10. Let's bump that up. And then once we run these components, we see that we get some response back. In this case, it was 12 results in total. So we're going to use that. Now we can go down the flow and then ask question to the Cohere model uh, with the context that we just got from the vector store and then also the question from the user and ask our model to respond as best as possible with the available results. So when we hit the run option here for the flow, we send the context and question over to Cohere and get some response back. And then we get the summary of the paper that we had asked for. There's also an option to add a re-ranker for the results that we get from Chroma DB. So let's say, for example, if our number of results is 20, but we just want our answer to be picked from the top four or top three of the results, then we can add the re-ranker block and connect it with the retriever for the Chroma DB. And then we can run this as is, and we're going to use the same question that we had asked before. And if we look at the results, then we see that the top three answers are picked in this case. Now, if we were to run the rest of the flow, the answer generated is going to be based on the top three responses. Those were picked by the re-ranker rather than the full list of results that we got from the vector database. And in this case, the answer that we get is going to be a bit different than what we notice from the full set of the results that we got. If there is a specific question that we have for the model based on a specific data point in the document, then we can use the re-ranker to pick the top results. And then based on those top results, we can get a response.